Okay, so, like, today, they announced a new card called Elemental Hero Neos Kluger. Um, it's basically, like, what Neos Wise Man should have been. Um, for those of you who probably don't know this about me, I am a huge proponent of Neos Wise Man. I really love this card because of how terrible it is. <laughs> uh, and because of how decent its effect is for being, like, so bad. Um... And this card allows you to special summon Neos Wise Man from your hand or deck, ignoring its summoning conditions on a floating effect, uh, which is great. It also requires an Elemental Hero plus New Bell as its materials, which means it can be brought out with Neos Fusion, which is so good, like ridiculously good, uh, because this card also has an effect where if it attacks something, you can inflict damage to your opponent equal to that monster's attack. Um, so. I'm going to try out this new thing where I talk about the deck while the replays are going. Uh, so let's get into it. Okay, so first off, we have a duel against a math mech deck. Um, for those of you who don't know what this deck is trying to do, it's just a whole bunch of level 4 monsters uh, who just try to go into synchros and extra deck plays. Uh, synchros and exceed summons. That's it. Nothing really more to know about that. They special summon themselves and do things like that. Anyways, um, let's play this duel right here. The hero engine, ever since they added in the fringe little vision hero cards, surprisingly have like so much special summon power that it's amazing. Uh, because what the normal combo is, is here, let me pause it real quick. You use vision hero Ferris in order to send a card from your hand to the graveyard, and then it allows you to set vision hero increase directly from your deck. And then increase, contribute a monster to special summon itself, and then another vision hero from your deck, which will be uh, Vizon. Here, let's just play it out. And then that gets Ash Blossom. I didn't have a call by the grave in order to stop that. Luckily, I still have my normal summon for the turn. And then I go into Neos Kluger, who's amazing. Um, this is like my first duel of the day, so I forgot that after using Neos Fusion, you're locked out of summons for the rest of the turn. So. My plan was to float into a wise man, and that didn't work because I couldn't... Neos wise man's technically not a, a hero monster. So he's just going to like clear my board, get rid of a card in my hand. Luckily, one of the cards that gets rid of my hand is a malicious. So I'm able to use that near my next turn in order not to lose. Um, so he has a full board, but like nothing else, no negates. This deck is surprisingly able to just like break through anything. Uh, I was able to, like, still win through a couple of negates in one duel. And, yeah, here it is. He's just going to inflict 3,000 damage, and then he's going to float into a wise man, who is able to do the rest. Um, I didn't really need wise man for that. So let's go on to the next one. Pause it up. Oops, I paused it a little bit too quickly. So this one we're going against is a Thunder Dragon deck. Um, for those who don't know what Thunder Dragons do, um, it's a meta deck. It's really good. It just tries to go into extra deck plays that destroy your board and then lock you out of searching cards. That's the gist of it. Um, and this one, I didn't really open super well. He also negates it, so I think I'm just done with the single Stratos for the turn. And then he's going to go and destroy all my cards with his Thunder Dragon plays. And I was pretty sure I was going to lose this one, but heroes, I don't know. I don't know how I won, actually. I forgot. <laughs> um, oh, super polymerization. I forgot I had that. So yeah, I just super polyed his uh, titan, and then he brought another one. Now he has nothing. No cards in his hand. This is pretty easy to come back from, especially with, you know, drawn into a miracle fusion. So this card right here, I want to hero Sunriser. It's a new hero monster that lets you search out a Miracle Fusion when it's brought out. Um, I was only playing one copy of Miracle Fusion in this deck, so after this duel I went in and added a second copy. So I was like, wow, that's useless if I use Miracle Fusion to bring out that guy. So, you know, I'm about to lose, I have nothing, and then boom, Neos Fusion. <laughs> this literally wins me the game, going into a Kluger who's going to allow me to bring out Neo's Wise Man on the next turn when it gets destroyed. I also have one protection thanks to Neo's Fusion, so he's going to use one charge of his Titan to try to destroy it, but he gets protected. 
and then he's gonna attack into it and take damage, and then Neos Wise Man comes out. Now the cool thing about Neos Wise Man is its effect is if it battles, you inflict damage to your opponent equal to their attack, and then you gain life points equal to their defense. And this happens whether or not this card is on the field or not. So if it gets destroyed by battle, the effect still goes off. Uh, it can't be destroyed by card effects either, you know, which is pretty nice. So it can be destroyed by battle. Titan has 3,200 attack, uh, so it's just gonna crash into it. I was, I had other combos I could have done, but I was like, you know, I don't need to. I have Wise Man. I'm basically gonna win 32 damage. Yeah, easy peasy. <laughs> It's so funny that Wise Man was literally a win condition right here. And it's so great that Neos Fusion can bring it out. Uh, I love it so much. This is my new favorite. Okay, so now here we're going against a uh, Ultra Geist player with Nibiru. You know, one of the unfortunate things, you know, with the Vision Heroes giving heroes actual staying power is uh, I'm very vulnerable to Nibiru, which is definitely going to you know, pop his head out. And I'm also running Lone Fire Blossom. Lone Fire Blossom is in here so that I can bring out Scorpio uh, and use his effect in order to bring out Cobra so that I could search out Neo's Fusion um, or Super Polymerization or alternatively go into this Link Monster right here. A brand new one that also got like announced recently that literally allows me to use Neo's Fusion as its effect. <laughs> it's so good. I can't believe how much synergy it has. So I was running Lone Fire just to get that out. Lone Fire basically got uh, Ash Blossomed every time I used it though. I don't think it ever resolved once. Um, didn't really matter too much. So, you know, there goes Ash Blossom getting rid of it. And then I use uh, Ferris in order to do some Vision Hero plays, which is going to give me a whole bunch of advantage. It's crazy. I am still super surprised malicious went unlimited <laughs> like i was literally there was two top tens that were in the process of making and both of them had malicious in it and in both of them i talked about how you know the semi-limited position was basically made for malicious um and i was like there, it's kind of overpowered when it's at three but two you know it's fine and then they unlimited it like for no reason and that's it's so good <laughs> half the plays i'm able to do is because there's three copies of malicious it's just so much advantage yeah and then i get weird um whatever i i don't think i really recover from it this play but luckily my opponent just draws nothing but negates and nothing else you know none of their alter guys good cards just one that can only be useful if there's something else yeah there goes another lone fire this time getting solemn striked and then I bring out Lone Fire again, and then I go into this guy to try to use Neo's Fusion from my deck, but it doesn't work, because I get Solemn Striked. And then I use Malicious just because I need some protection on the board. And because this guy only has 800 to attack, so he can't actually beat over Malicious. He'd have to attack it with, you know, Nibir. And then I finally get out Kluger. After all this time. <laughs> now if he destroys it, you know, uh, I get, whatchamacallit, that one card. Oh, this was a mistake right here. I, uh, I I wasn't too familiar with Increase, so I accidentally tributed my Kluger, which is really dumb. Uh, and I thought I was going to lose at this point, especially since I drew a Call by the Grave and he still has a big old Nibiru on the board. Um, but, you know, he didn't summon any other Ultra Guys monster, so I just like stuck out. I was like, hey, maybe I can come back. And it's like, oh, cool, a Stratos. Um, I can do something with that. So I go into Sunriser to search out a Miracle Fusion and I use Increase basically for a whole bunch of plays and in order to get Sunriser off the field so I could have a free extra deck space. And then I get into Beard again. <laughs> uh, and then I just go into the Kluger again. And you know, they both have the same exact attack except his effect will still go off. Uh, so you know, 3000 attack. So um, that was probably the most negates I played through and I still won, but that's mainly just because my opponent never drew anything good. Um, so this one right here, oh look, another Lone Fire Blossom and another uh, Ash Blossom in their opening hand. So that's not going to happen. So Lone Fire comes out, he gets Ash Blossomed. No surprise there. And then I have Fenris and also a Malicious in my hand. So perfect, you know, plan B strategy. So Increase is going to give me all the goddamn cards on the field like crazy. Uh, I'm, I'm just loving the Hero Engine right now. It's so good. <laughs> Cross Guy to bring back Malicious. 
and then Sunrise to search out a Miracle Fusion, and then finally Neos Fusion is always the last thing I do for the turn because it locks me out of summons for the rest of the turn. Um, so, you know, I just ended it off on Kluger. My opponent didn't have anything. So I was going to win no matter what because I drew really well and then they just drew a whole bunch of stuff, you know, with a going first deck as well. Uh, and then, you know, I also just <laughs> Stratos their entire back row just for safety and it turns out there was nothing to worry about. And then um, I think there's one more. Yeah, they just quit out. And yeah, there's one more. This is the last one. Uh, hey look, another Lone Fire, and they don't have any Ash Blossoms. I think this is the only time I resolve a, a Lone Fire. And it's against a Dinosaur player. So, let's see this opening hand right here. Oh, I don't think I really explained. So, here's how Dinosaur decks work, for those of you who don't know. Um, they bring out Ultimate Conductor Tyranno, and he has a spell speed to, you know, like basically Book of the Moon, flip all your cards face down. Uh, which is really good at stomping extra deck plays. He can also attack all your monsters once each. He can also send them to the graveyard if they're in defense position without destroying them, uh, which screws over a lot of floating effects, including Kluger, so he doesn't bring out Neos Wiseman. Uh, and they also like to bring out Dalka and Lagia, who negate stuff. So, you know, there's lots of negates to play through and floodgate stuff. See, look, Lagia. Lagia is basically a Solemn Judgment in Exceeds form. It can just detach two materials to stop one of anything. And then this card can destroy a card in order to flip all your cards face down. So, not really a problem with this hand. Oh, so he Lagia is the Lone Fire. That's why it never got resolved. And then he's going to flip down Stratos so I can't use him for stuff, I guess. Like, whatever. I also had Ferris and Malicious in my hand, so... Here comes the Vision Hero plays, which is going to give me like four cards on board without a summon. A normal summon, I mean. Uh, Cross Guy gets a free summon of Malicious. In this duel, I also added in Decimator for the first time, because he wasn't in any of my decks previously. Decimator is another uh, hero monster, because like the Vision Hero plays where you special summon a whole bunch of cards, it locks you into only hero monsters for the turn. Uh, so there's no other really Exceeds monsters you can use besides the three um, Link monsters. Uh, and I decided to add in Decimator even though it has like the worst of the effects. Uh, because, you know, the attack boost seemed neat. It also had really good arrows and I was having so many cards on field in some of my duels that I just didn't use them for anything. So I thought, hey, you know, I get so much advantage with heroes, this might actually be useful. And in this particular case, it allowed me to boost my cards uh, above the attack power value of Ultimate Conductor Tyranno, except it doesn't really matter because Sunriser allows me to destroy cards whenever I declare an attack, you know, once per turn. Uh, so I could have got rid of it anyway, and he already used up all of his negates for the turn. Plus, I could also deal damage to him equal to his attack. This is like overkill right here. No problem. Okay, so let's go on to end of deck stuff. All right, now it's time for final thoughts on this deck. Um, I love it. It's great. It surprisingly worked out very well on like with very minimal adjustments to it. Um, so let me scroll through all the cards real quick before I go through it. So I assumed I was going to use super polymerization a lot more than I did. Uh, I kind of built this for going first, so I just have like a called by the grave in order to stop hand traps if needed. Especially since I never resolved a lone fire blossom <laughs> in a duel that I won. <laughs> it, it, I mean, I've resolved it a couple of times in duels that I ended up losing, so I didn't actually really, you know, save or show any of those. Um, uh, this card right here was pretty good in those. I don't think it actually really resolved in any of the duels that I won. Uh, I ended up running two Miracle Fusions because Sunriser has allowed me to search it out, which is another new fusion card, and he's really good in this because he just requires two hero monsters and different attributes. Uh, Stratos, I just ran three copies because I thought, you know, it was limited for so long. Uh, I'm not really used to the new hero engine yet, and a lot of the ones I saw online were like pure evil heroes or pure um, destiny heroes, and I didn't want to do any of that. I just wanted to go into... Uh, Kluger for Neos Wiseman and this version of the deck 
I basically went back to my old deck. I created a deck a few months ago that was trying to turbo out uh, Absolute Zero, and I took that skeleton of a deck, and I also took us, uh, you know, the engines of some Destiny Hero decks that were doing some good plays with Faris and Increase uh, and Vion. You know, these three Vision Heroes, they're so good. Like, my god, they increase the consistency of heroes so much, especially with three Malicious. So, you know, I just basically modified my Absolute Zero spam deck since it was already using Neos Fusion. Um, and it worked out very well. It was able to play through Negates. Uh, I got Nibiru twice and I still won. And Super Polymerization was pretty clutch in some duels that I ended up losing. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> and most of the time when I used Scorpio to bring out Cobra anyway, I was just searching out Super Polymerization because this new Link monster is so good. Uh, I used its effect to basically become Neos Fusion. And then I was able to bring out Kluger in that way. It's It literally just lets you send Neos Fusion to the grave from your deck. Its effect becomes Neos Fusion. You can bring out Kluger and you know, that's it. Uh, it just has 500 attack, just two effect monsters. Um, this card's really good. I, I'm honestly surprised at how good it is, especially since the Predator Plants are already really good. It doesn't even need Predator Plants. It, it's just two effect monsters as materials. Um, so yeah, the deck itself, I never thought I'd say this, but a Neos Wiseman deck, uh, as far as a Neos Wiseman deck goes, <laughs> this one works out very well, <laughs> and I think that's hilarious, uh, and this is kind of like why, uh, you know, I love it when they release support for old cards like this, you know, it's like only in Yu-Gi-Oh do they go back and release really good support for crappy cards and then make them actually work.